Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the fixed end beam. This type of beam is also called as the fixed supported beam. So this is the type of the beam which is most commonly used in the construction. This type of the beam is generally presented in this way, in which the beam is being supported by the two fixed support. One is here and the other one is here. These are the fixed support. And this is the beam. It's a horizontal member. So the beam is being supported by two fixed support, which can resist the movement here at both the ends. So now where we can use where we can find this fixed end, ended beam in the real construction. So I will try to explain this by considering the three or four story building. Let's consider this in a building with different numbers of floors. And let's consider in this case. These have different floors like one, two, three, and there's a ground floor. So this this building has the columns on either side of the building, and there's another column, and this the horizontal member is beam here. So the beam is being supported by these columns in the respect to ends. So on each floor we have one beam, right? So now how this beam can be called is the fixed ended beam or the fixed support. So I will explain this now in detail. Let's consider this is the beam and I just want to show this beam here taken from this portion of the building in which the beam is being supported by here column and here is within the column. Here one end column and here is another column. So this is actually the diagram of this beam. You can see here which is a fixed ended beam in which the beam is supported by two fixed supports so here this build beam is also supported by this one column and this another column and this is called the fixed ended beam now how this is how why this is called fixed ended beam because of the support that it is fixed supports here and the one side and also on the other side and how these supports has been made the fixed support has been made due to the reinforcement detail so if we draw the this support and this support so Let's suppose this is a beam, horizontal member, and these vertical members are the column, right? This vertical member is a column. So the reinforcement plays an important role to define as a fixed ended beam. Now the reinforcement of the beam will be laid down here in the inside the column here. These are the reinforcement of the beam. And similarly, this is a reinforcement from the column. The vertical reinforcement here. So this mesh this mesh of the reinforcement make this joint is a fixed end joint or fixed supported that's why this joint will act as a fixed joint and due to which the beam will act as a fixed end beam similarly in this case the beam reinforcement is being laid down inside the column and the column reinforcement is being placed inside the beam so the beam and column reinforcement has been injected into one another and they act as a fixed support and due to fixed support, it can resist the horizontal force, the vertical force, and the moment. Due to which we call is this this type of support is the fixed support. So this beam now you can see here this beam is now act as a fixed ended beam or fixed supported beam, in which the columns are on either side of the beam and act as the acting as a fixed joint. Hope you guys understand how the fixed ended beam act in real life, in real construction, in which the beam has been placed horizontally and being injected into the column inside. For more videos, please subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching my video.